Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shell Craft One in my little barn door. And I have three fun journals to add to the booth for Miss Yolanda. Yolanda Carranza, if I can say her name correctly. So she has two fall journals and a Halloween journal. So we're just going to get started and do a quick flip throughs. So let me just make sure my camera is good here. Okay, that works. All right, so the first one is the Halloween journal. I think it is so stinking cute. I absolutely love how she decorated the front. It's so fun and festive with all the different colors of Halloween. I absolutely love that. And then just this great trim around the whole journal. Love it. Love Yolanda's style. Okay, let's see. Oops. Okay, this one is 10 by 6. It has 70 pages. Um, it's made with cardstock papers, lots of pockets, cover very embellished. Yes, it is. Bright Halloween colors with a ribbon tie, trims, and tool ruffles. It is a fun journal. She says it's a fun journal, and I believe so. Um, this one's called Spooky, so that's how you'll find it in the shop. So in the first pocket here, you have a fun little Halloween, Happy Halloween journal card, and again, I'm loving all the colors of Halloween that she's added into here. Cute little journaling card there with an altered paper clip. Oh, I love this. You don't see um, Halloween cards very often. So we're going to do quick flip throughs so that we can make sure we get everything in. Vintage children's book page. Cute. Oh, that is so adorable. I love the index card. Super cute. And her Halloween cards that I'm obsessed with. I need to get myself a stamp like that. I don't have one. Super cute little cutouts for you to play with in your journal. Love her sprayed papers. Cute little um, CD envelope and she's got some goodies in there for you. I'm not going to take them out. Oh, I love her fabric flip. Check out this. Uh, I love this. It's um, it's uh, Holy crow, my brain just went completely blank. <laughs> Burlap with black lace. <laughs> and it's a, a pocket. You can tuck something in there. I love the mixture of papers that Yolanda puts in her journal. She always puts a great variety of vintage and new papers in her journals. Let me just slide it down a little bit so you can see a little better. Super cute. Oh, these are fun pages. How fun is that? Super cute. Oh, I love these little sacks. These are so cute. Oh, and it's attached, so it's a pocket. And there's some, oh, look. She's got some um, wooden witch hats um, in there for you to um, play with in your journal. So cute. Okay, this one flips open, and it's got some goodies in there for you as well. That looks like some fabric in there. Cute little pocket here, and I love how she made it look like a tag. And then you have the tag inside. I love Halloween. I think it's so much fun. Um, you know, and a lot of religious people, you know, have their thing about it, and, and I'm okay with that, I respect that, you know, but I also respect the fact that it is just a holiday, and it's just for fun, and I don't have any problems with it, as a matter of fact, um, my mother-in-law, who we live with now, um, she loves Halloween too, and she does a big Halloween party every year for her family, and the neighborhood that she lives in here, um, they always have so many trick-or-treaters. Like, it's a big deal here in this neighborhood. And so, I mean, several years ago, they said it was such a big deal that they actually would have to have policemen to come out and direct traffic because there were so many people who came to this neighborhood um, for Halloween. So, that's one of their big celebrations every year is the, the Halloween party and um, getting to see all the kids in their costumes and then giving out candy. Um to the trick-or-treaters so they have fun with it and you know what i think it's a great i love that bookmark that's super cool i love the sugar skulls um so anyways 
have fun with it. It's okay to have fun. And you know what? I bet God loves to have fun too. As a matter of fact, I know he does because he has quite the sense of humor. And I bet he loves Halloween just as much as I do. Super cute. I love these little stickers that she's added in. Are I think they're actually, are they rub-ons? Oh, they're jewel tats. Very fun. How cool is that? Y'all, I know y'all are going to laugh at me when I tell you this. Okay, so this one is called Spooky, and that's how you'll find it in the shop. Um, but I'm going to tell y'all a funny story about me <laughs> um, in just a second. If I can get this tied and get them swapped over. Okay, let's do the first fall journal. I love this. I love the cover of it with the big, beautiful pumpkin. She's got the sweet little dangles at the bottom. Um, oh, how stinking cute is that? I love the um, the little flower she puts on the end of her ribbon ties. So adorable. And look at all the great embellishment she's got on the cover. Well, I got a little tangled there. <laughs> I love these. So pretty. Fall flowers. Super cute. I love the fabric on the spine. Isn't that just so much fun? And I love, look at the little lacy that she put all the way around the covers. Love that. Um, so anyways, uh, we were talking about those um, little tattoos. Oh, this feels so cool. Ooh, I love that. Oh, I love the inside of that. Okay, let me read this first and then I'll tell you the story. Okay, this one's called Fall Flowers and Butterflies. It's 10 by 7. One signature with 62 pages. It's made with a vintage placemat with vintage fabrics, papers, and lots of embellishments. Has a ribbon tie and beaded dangles, wooden hearts, and crochet flowers. Okay, um, so the other day, well, going back a little bit, there's her sweet little card. This is Yolanda. She does have a YouTube channel and her email. I will put uh, links to, or I'll put them both in the description box below so you can find her. Last year, she sold um, little kits that had all of these fun little embellishments in them on her YouTube channel. So I don't know what she's got going on this year. I haven't had a chance to get over there and see, but go check her out at her YouTube channel because she does do sales on her YouTube channel. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. That's a beautiful card. I love that, and I love that scripture. Oh, it's a double-sided. It's like a little... This is super cool. Love that. Yolanda, that's great. Very pretty. Okay. Um. Anyways... Go check out her channel and uh, see if she's got any sales going on. Because she's got lots of fun stuff that she she sells over there. Got some goodies inside this. Oh, look how cute these are. Oh, my goodness. Those are so stinking cute. There's something else in there, too. It's a tag. Um, so, anyways, going back. You know, I would get these journals and they had these pretty little embellishments on them. I love this little... Um, recipe page had these pretty little embellishments on them look how pretty that is she stitched around it and I couldn't figure out I knew they weren't stickers but I couldn't figure out what they were well come to find out um, they were rub-ons and the way I realized that they were rub-ons I love this seven day book not renewable I love this this is super cool it's an original library card um, but anyways, I think I have one of my hairs on there. Sorry. <laughs> Super cute. Um, so, um, I don't know what I was saying. Oh, she gave you some tea. How fun is that? Peach, country peach passion. I love the little sack she used. Um, so, anyways, I ordered some stuff from scrapbook.com the other day. This is an envelope, and it's got some goodies in there. I'm not going to take them all out, but I absolutely love, love, love this book page. This was always one of my favorite little golden books. It was the um, Goldie Bear. Goldie Locks and the Three Bears. Um, so, anyways. Um, super cute. Um, I ordered this order from scrapbook.com. And um, they had a free gift with the order, and um, I got um, rub-ons. And I actually put them in my mini fall journal that I just um, released on Saturday um, in that 
bundle of journals that I released. Super cute. She's got you all kinds of little goodies tucked into the envelope. Um, so anyways, when I started doing that, I thought I'm just going to do put these rub-ons in this little mini journal because it didn't have a lot of embellishments in it, but it had pockets and things. And Anyway, when I started doing the rub-on, I was like, oh my goodness, that's what those things were. They were rub-ons. I'm sorry, I didn't have that in fine good. And so I just kind of laughed at myself and I thought, um, I thought, what a dork I am. <laughs> You know, and, and I know rub-ons have been around forever, but I've never used them. Isn't that funny? I've never used rub-ons. And so, in my discovery of rub-ons, I was so excited. <laughs> if y'all would have been sitting here in the craft room with me, you probably would have giggled or maybe even laughed out loud at me because I was so goofy. I was so excited at finding, figuring out what those little sticker type things were that they were actually rub-ons. So, yes, that was my experience. Uh, last at the end of last week with rub-ons <laughs> too funny because I know they've been around for a long time but I've just never used them you know and so I didn't actually know what they were love this this is um, Ideals Book Pages I think they have the prettiest pages in their books and this is some of that watermarked paper that she uses a lot and I love it. I think it's so cool with that watermark in it. Oh, I love this fabric with the sunflower on it. So, yeah, that was my dorky story about figuring out what rub-ons were. Look at how pretty that is. She's stitched the edges. Sweet little Thanksgiving poem. And I love this. Super cute. It opens up. Oh, I love that. That is so adorable. I love her mix of things that she puts in her journals. It just makes her journals uniquely her own. That's fabric, I think. I think it's fabric, and that feels so cool. It might be napkin, but it feels so neat. You know, it's got that textile feel, which y'all know I love. I'm a touchy-feely. I gotta touch it and feel it. <laughs> Sweet little notebook here with all different kinds of papers in it. And a tag. And then a coffee dyed envelope. Very fun. I love the little fabric patch she's put here as an embellishment on the pocket. And then this is a full page pocket. Oh, look at the puppies. Oh my goodness, I'm in love with the puppies. I'm a dog person, not a cat person. I've had cats in the past, and my favorite cat's name was, hold on, Gus. His name was Gus. No, it was Woodrow. Gus and Woodrow were brothers. Well, Gus disappeared when we lived out on the farm. These are so stinking cute. I love this. I think this is from one of my digitals, too. Um, but Gus was our cat when we lived on the farm. It is one of my digitals. And this is, too, I think. Um, anyways, y'all, I can't tell a story today for nothing, can I? I feel like I'm jumping around. I love this paper. Um, and I love this ruffle with the little fish on it. But how cute is that? Okay, that's the end of this one. So this one, what did I say it was called? Uh, Fall Flowers and Butterflies. So that's how you'll find it in the shop. Let me grab the last one real quick. And then I'll finish telling you about Gus and Woodrow. Super cute. Oh, y'all. Oh, I wish y'all could. I wish I had feel a vision. I wish you could feel the fabric on this. And then she's got it tied up with these super cute little um, ribbons that are tied together. Love that. And I love this. She's made a little bow out of this mesh uh, material. It's kind of plasticky, but it's so fun. It's a really great textile thing. And then she's got the crocheted um, pumpkin under there and the felt flower. I mean, you could just feel around on this journal all day long. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. And I love the trim around it. 
is it called Chinese braid? I think that's what they call it. Um, it says harvest time here on the front. Hopefully y'all can see. I'm not really, I can't see in the camera if I'm not, if I don't stand up. Okay, this one's called harvest time. It's 10 by seven and it's 64 pages. Uh, fabric cover, vintage trims and embellishments, lots of pockets and writing space, seam binding tie, also some touches of blue inside. Okay, fun. I love this big, big journaling card or index card. I love these. It just kind of leaves it wide open for you to make that what you want it. You could have so much fun with those. I may have to do um, some of the journal with me and, and pull out some ephemera that I find in the journals and and let's play with them and see what we can do with them. That's cute with the googly-eyed owl. Oh my gosh. And that's an envelope that flips open and there's goodies in there. Um, so anyways, Gus was our first cat. And he was he was a hoot. Um, these are super cute. They're little tags. I love these. Love the colors in them. And there's another googly eyed owl. And so he, I mean, he got in a tree one day and it took us forever. My son and his buddy had to get a ladder and try and climb up in the tree to get the stinking cat out of the tree. Look at this cute trim she's got on the bottom of this. I love that. Um, so anyways, Gus just disappeared. He just, I don't know if he just wandered off and found somewhere else that he liked better or what, but he, he liked to wander. He didn't really like to stay in the house. He would rather be outside. Now, you know, we would always let him come in if he wanted to come in, but I love this page. Absolutely love this page. I love the colors in this page. That's beautiful. Um, so anyways, so Gus had a brother and his name was Woodrow. Now my son named these cats from the Lonesome Dove movie. So we had Augustus first, which we called Gus, and then we had Woodrow second, which we called Woody. Here's her little card. And um, so anyways, we got Woodrow. Well, he did fine in the house until I got Gracie. I brought Gracie home that Christmas, and he was mad about it, so he started spraying in my house. And so I said, your butt's going outside. I'm not dealing with that. And so I made him go outside for a little bit. So that changed his mind about spraying in the house. So then he could come back, you know, which he preferred to stay outside too. I love this honey orange glazed ham. It's a handwritten um, recipe. Got Edith Holden page there. A couple of tags. Um, so anyways, but now he loved Gracie. Him and Gracie played together just like they were two little puppies playing together. And the funny thing was that when I would let the dogs go out to potty, Gus would go too. So he thought he was, he was, he just thought he was a dog because we had out at the farm, we had four dogs. We had Gracie and Lucy, my dog that passed away. I love this fried green tomatoes. I love this, um, recipe book. Yolanda, you have to tell me where you found that super cute pages um i love her little dangles that she's put in the center of the signature so anyways um we had lucy and then we had rainy he was a big newfoundland and we rescued him um he um he was one of my corporal's dogs when i worked for the sheriff's department uh, my corporal had him and um she was having to move out of her house she actually lost her house to the government. Um, it was her family home where she grew up. And when her mom got sick and stuff, um, Medicaid or TennCare or one of those government insurance programs took the house to pay for the medical care that they provided for her. And so my couple actually lost her home. And so she had this dog he was huge and she was moving into an apartment and so she asked us if he could live on the farm with us um, and live out his days there because he was old um, and he kind of drug his back legs he had some neurological or some nerve or joint problems or something so we gave him medicines and stuff to try and help him but um, he did drag his back legs 
Um, but the more he stayed at the farm, the better he got because every morning him and Lucy and Buckshot Jones, we had a little dog named Buckshot Jones, and then we had Gracie, and then we had Woodrow, and they would all go for a morning walk down to the neighbor's house who absolutely fell in love with Buckshot Jones. He was a little beagle blue tick mix. And he would go down to the neighbor's house and my neighbor just absolutely, now when I lived on the farm, you couldn't see the neighbors from my house. So we never knew, you know, that he was going down there. But anyway, one day Buckshot Jones came up missing and uh, we couldn't find him. And so I had mentioned it to my landlord whose brother was our neighbor. And he said, let me call my brother. And his brother's name was Frank, who we went to church with. And um, so he called Frank, and Frank was like, Yeah, I'm in Illinois at the farm. I've got him with me. <laughs> so Buckshot Jones became the neighborhood dog. But anyways, so that's my story about cats and dogs. And Woodrow thought he was more of a dog than he did a cat. Okay, what did, this one's called Harvest Time. This one's called Fall Flowers, I think. Y'all know what I said at the beginning. And then this one's called Spooky. So that's how you'll find them in the shop. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you haven't. I hope I haven't bored you to death with my stories about my animals. <laughs> but anyways, I hope y'all have a good day. If you have any comments or questions for me or Yolanda, you can leave them in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you will. And I hope you have a great day. Big hugs.